I said before, Australia's a crime scene. It's been a crime scene since the day they got here. They intended to exterminate the Aboriginal people of this First Nations of this country. It's a premeditated criminal act of genocide that's gone on here. And everybody living in this country today, not the ancestors, today, they're living off the proceeds of this crime. It's an unresolved crime. There's no treaty. There's no consent to occupy this land or apply their laws to our people in particular, but to anybody else in this country. This has continued to happen. We need a treaty of peace. We need to end this war, this undeclared war, through their secret invasion. They use weapons of mass destruction and preemptive strikes against innocent people. This is the basis of Australia. It's a, it's a war crime scene, an unresolved one. If the churches of the world could help us, at least justify an occupation of our sacred land. Because there's, there's indigenous people all over this country. There's not one square inch of this land. It's not wasteland. That, that, that is wasteland. It's all occupied land. In fact, every people have one of the oldest known socially organised societies on the face of the earth. We've been here for a long time. Now we've got carbon, carbon dated uh, burial sites going back 60 to 70,000 years in this country. That's ceremonial burials. You know what I mean? We're not, we're not children of our people, and we don't need a, a dark age backward society like the, the British Crown to impose their, their dark age laws on our people. We don't need it, man. It's, I haven't seen, you know, our people were promised Christianity and civilization. We well, haven't seen it yet. We're still waiting. Where is this? You know, it's not here to be seen. You know, for saying sorry for still generations of our children out of concentration camps. Now, apartheid was adopted by South Africa from this country. It's called the Reserve Act. That's people spent their lives, generations in these reserves. And saying sorry ain't going to cut it for me. You know, that's one aspect of genocide. If people know the definition of genocide under the United Nations Convention for the Prevention and, Prevention and Punishment of Genocide. Removal of children is an act of genocide as defined. Killing members of the group is an act of genocide. Creating the conditions of life with the intent to destroy is an act of genocide. Causing serious mental harm or physical harm is an act of genocide. Preventing births within the group is an act of genocide. Show us look at all those things, and there's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. The Ten Commandments. Show us truths, international convention laws, the, first, uh, the Ten Commandments, all those things with this name. They're lies. This country is a lie. It's manifested from a lie. This country, terra nullis, the intent to destroy. Hasn't ended. Our people have been heritaging in terms of their, their lives, our culture, for the last 300 years. We need to stop. And the world parliament of, of religions is here. We want this to be the witnesses of this. Do something about Australia. Cut them off. Disown them. And they moralise them all the time. Just scratch beneath the surface there. You'll see how ugly a racist society this is. It's disgusting. There's an old saying that came out of the Nuremberg trials, I think. Evil reigns when good people do nothing. When you think of Australia, think about that quote. Because that's what it's about here. 